Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Zooty Pickups. Today I have one of the more rarer pickups of 2017, and they are the Nike X Off-White Air Prestos. So, um, yeah, I, I honestly didn't think I was going to get this shoe. Um, there's only one place around me that was doing the in-store raffle. So I showed up to the raffle the morning of, and they're like an entire parking lot full of people with tickets like like 400 maybe even more 450 people and um yeah i didn't think i had any chance of winning so and i went with my wife actually to increase my chances of winning and i told her like oh we're not gonna win we might as well just like cut our losses and, and go get brunch or something instead but she was like no i woke up for this we're gonna get the damn raffle tickets and we're gonna see if we win or not so we we were like okay like we'll stick around we stuck around and and we won um uh, and we're not only did we win, we we were the seventh people to win, which means we pretty much got first dibs on what model and what size we wanted. So I opted for the size 13, which is my true size, so I can rock them. Uh, Air Prestos, and I couldn't be happier. So um, before I talk about the actual shoe itself, I want to talk a little bit more about the collection. This released as part of the 10 collection from Nike and Off White's uh, Virgil Abloh. So the collection actually consists of two sub-collections. One is the revealing pack and the other is the ghosting pack. So the ghosting pack kind of uses the whole idea of translucency, opaqueness, to kind of convey uh, that see-through look, which makes the shoes look really techy and futuristic. The revealing pack, which is really interesting, um, they kind of try to show the part of the shoe that you don't see, the inside of the shoe, the cross sections of the shoe, the materials of the shoe, and the, the Air Presto right here is part of that revealing pack. Um, so yeah, let's talk about the, the packaging because I think the packaging is actually pretty cool. Um, on the outside, it's very unassuming. It's just this brown cardboard box, nothing too much going on. You have some uh, embossed glossy letters at the top that says Nike swoosh in the trademark double quotation marks. Um, you got some branding on the side here, um, some off-white branding and Nike branding. And on the side here, it does have a translucent sticker, kind of, uh, I guess, kind of alluding to the concepts from the ghosting pack. So the interesting thing about this box is when you open it up, it reveals a traditional red Nike sportswear box on the inside. So as you can see, they built the box inside out which is in line with their revealing pack concept. I thought that was a nice little subtle design touch. It also comes with um, co-branded tissue paper, off-white X Nike, and it also comes with um, three extra sets of shoelaces. You got this uh, neon yellow, you got this uh, black, and then you got this uh, neon orange. So you can kind of uh, mix and match and customize your shoe however you want. So, now that we got all that out of the way, let's talk about the shoe. Um, the shoe itself, um, there's a lot of radical differences to a regular Presto, so I'm just going to talk about the major three differences first, and then I'm going to talk about the details, the little design elements, and then I'm going to talk about the comfort and fit. So let's start with the major design differences. So working our way up from the toe box. The toe box is entirely different than a normal Presto. So as you can see here, the toe box has this stitch line going along the top, and it's it's a mock toe, like you know, a mock toe like you would see on a moccasin or you know some Sperry topsiders. And that that additional stitch line right there, it actually adds the whole like deconstructed look. The material of the toe box is this very soft and stretchy mesh. Um, it's very comfortable when your foot goes in there, the mesh, it just stretches very freely, meaning that your toes can move around and it creates a very roomy toe box. So major points for actual comfort right there. So let's move up to the middle of the shoe to the tongue. Um, the original Prestos actually do not have a real tongue because Prestos are uh, a booty design. And as you can see, the original Presto booty is still present here. But what Virgil did for this collection was he sewed this giant puffy tongue on top of the booty, like right straight in center. And um, what this does is actually it does a lot for the silhouette. Um, the poofiness of the tongue 
um, it kind of uh, bulks the shoe up a little bit in the midsection and it reminds me of like those mid 2000s skate shoes like the SXLs um, and it also gives the the shoe a little more height right here in the front about an inch and a half maybe and when you put it on uh, it rides a little higher and I think that really makes the shoe um, look uh, drastically different than a regular Presto in a good way. Um, see up top here they're going with the whole revealing concept uh, exposing the foam and off to the side they have a vertically woven Nike patch. Um, the thing with this tongue is like when you're looking at it like this it's kind of weird because it's just like flat and floppy and, and very large but the thing is when you put your foot into the shoe the tongue kind of curves like this to the curvature of your foot and stands up a little higher like so and actually it adds a lot to the overall shape of the shoe so I really dig the tongue and I think this is one of the main design points of this shoe so let's move on to the back of the shoe to the heel cuff uh, the third big design change that they did for this was to add this uh, heel strap around the heel cup right here so there's actually some velcro on this side that comes off and I think the point of this is that like you can like tighten this down and uh, you know make your heel cup a little tighter but honestly this this plastic is really rigid and I tried tightening it it doesn't actually really do anything it's more or less I think for aesthetic looks rather than functionality um, on the strap it does have the the air branding right there and on the tip of the strap there's a, a little leather tip um, to kind of add a little bit of flair so it's a nice little touch on the back the loop that the straps go through are this semi translucent type uh, fabric which is also kind of the same color as the rest of the midsole so it kind of puts everything together real well so those are kind of like the big huge changes to the shoe however there's a lot of little tiny design details that I also wanted to talk about let's talk about the swoosh first so the swoosh is um, it's this um, you know those holographic sheets when you look at them from different angles like the image changes what's well, that material and if I like run my finger on it you can hear it so it, it's it's kind of like a cool material it's not actually holographic like I've tried like looking at it from different angles it's just black gloss but um, that material choice is really interesting the tip of the swoosh is sewn over the tongue kind of giving the entire upper of the shoe a lot of dimensionality and um, of course it has the little orange tag sewn on there which is kind of like the unifying design element for the entire collection of 10 shoes they all have this little orange tag right there moving up the side we have the kind of like off-white colored presto slightly translucent cages that that haven't really changed from the original presto so nothing to really talk about there turning the shoe around to the medial side we can see that under the cage on this side you have some um, off-white X Nike branding it's kind of hard to see um, but I think that's the whole point of this shoe it's like the swoosh on this side and the off-white branding on this side so they're kind of covered by the cages and they're almost hidden and I think you know that's kind of part of the the whole design philosophy here moving up to the top of the shoe we have to talk about this giant zip tie here the concept of the zip tie, I think, is like to accentuate the fact that this is, you know, supposed to kind of look like an unfinished prototype or something of that nature. You go into the Nike sneaker labs, they probably have like, you know, multiple versions of the shoe and they label the shoe with these zip ties like version one, version two, version three or whatever. I think that was kind of what they were kind of alluding to. Um, it, it, I mean, it adds a lot of uh, cool design flair. It, it does say like there's some stuff printed on here. It does say off-white, CEO Nike. All that kind of stuff 2017 um, zip tie in quotation marks but um, realistically when you're wearing this shoe I tried wearing around the house the zip tie is too low and it actually drags on the floor um, for higher top sneakers like the blazers or the Air Jordan ones I, I don't think that's gonna be a problem because the zip tie uh, rides a lot higher but for a low top like this Air Presto um, realistically you're gonna have to take this off when you wear it out so that's you know just one thing to consider however I do think the zip tie is cool and in terms of design I think it adds a lot to the shoe so moving on to the insole they actually have um, some off-white and Nike branding it says the 10 and there's the off-white X and one interesting thing for this shoe is 
the insole has these little little bumps, uh, these like little massaging bumps that you know, they feel really nice. They're, they're, um, it's a nice design touch and you're never going to see this really, but when you're wearing the shoe, it, it feels nice. So I, I appreciate that they threw that in there. It's kind of cool. So um, finally, let's talk about the shoelaces. They actually say shoelaces on my pair anyway. The letters are already starting to come off. Um, I tied this like two times and the letters are already starting to come off. So I'm assuming that um, these letters will eventually come off with multiple wears. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of this. I think this might be taking the quotation mark thing a little too far. Um, I would have been okay without it, so I don't really mind if these fall off or not. So yeah, that's pretty much all the new changes. Um, the, the midsole and the outsole are pretty much exactly like your regular Air Presto, so there's really nothing to talk about. They're, they're nice. Uh, they're comfortable. I think they're one of the more comfy shoes that Nike makes. So segueing off of that, let's talk about the fit and comfort. So I touched on it a little bit when I was talking about the toe box. The shoe fits pretty large and, and roomy. Um, not saying you should size down, you should just go for your true size. But for me, like when I put this on, like Nike shoes always fit a little small on me, a little tight, but this was like perfect. It was just like roomy enough for me to be comfortable. And um, I, I love that fit. So. Um, I would say go go true to size and you'll be super comfortable with this shoe. In terms of comfort, um, the Presto is one of Nike's more comfortable shoes, like I said. And since the midsole and outsole is pretty much a Presto, and then you have the enhanced comfort of this mesh upper, I would say they're even more comfortable and akin to kind of like wearing like a Prime Knit Ultra Boost with a little more uh, tongue padding up top, which gives it a really soft pillowy feeling on top of your foot but the um, Presto midsole definitely is no boost. It's not as cushy, but it's definitely super comfortable. So all in all, I think this is a beautifully designed shoe. I was so ecstatic, I got a pair in my size. The cool thing about this shoe is that there's a lot of crazy design elements going on here, and by themselves, I think they might be a little too much or too over the top, like you know the crazy toe box, the crazy tongue, like the strap with the giant air quotation marks on them, the, the huge red zip tie. But all together, you know, as a cohesive shoe, it all just, it works. It like puts everything together. The visual interest is just spread throughout the shoe in a way that not only one part of the shoe is super busy and not one part of the shoe is boring. Everything just kind of flows together and I think that was why this shoe looks so good. They did a great job designing it. And honestly, I think this is gonna be one of the more popular shoes from the 10 collection. I gotta say though, the one problem I do have with this shoe is the fact that it's so valuable right now. And um, you know, I'm terrified to actually wear it. So I, I think for now, I'm just gonna keep it on ice, keep it in all the packaging. But I mean, look at this shoe. It's like more or less like an art project than something you would just like wear out. So so as much as I wanna wear this, I'm just gonna have to keep this as kind of like a collector's item for now. And um, I don't know, maybe if there's like a special occasion down the line, I'll bust it out. But yeah, it's definitely not like an everyday type shoe that you can just just wear out. I mean, I, well, it depends. Like I mean, if you want to do that, I, that's cool. Like wear your kicks, but I just, I, I can't bring myself to do it, so. Like I said, for me, it's gonna go in a case somewhere or in a box, and I'm, I'm just gonna display them for now. So yeah, that was pretty much my review for the Nike X Off-White Air Prestos. Really coolly designed shoe. Love what Virgil did with the collection, and hopefully I might be able to score myself uh, some more shoes from that collection. So I'm gonna throw these on foot so you guys can see what they look like. And uh, yeah, once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.